What's up YouTube land? This video is all about adding filters in OBS to your microphones to change the sound. If that's something you're interested in, stick around. All right, so we're going to be starting things off with the SE4100. This is a $349 uh, large diagram, uh, diagram, diaphragm condenser microphone. Uh, and this is the sound that you get out of the box. I don't have any filters on currently except for a limiter. That's not going to change the tone of the microphone, so we're going to leave that on. That just keeps me from clipping. All right, so I'll go ahead and dive into that right now. And as you can see, I have in my list, and it does matter, um, because somebody smart that knows these things told me so. I've got noise suppression at the top. You want to do that first. Then you've got your EQs. And then after that, I have a compressor and a limiter. I don't really use the expander that much. It's down here. If I was going to use it, it would get bumped back up right up, right underneath the compressor. But this is what I've got, and this is how I have it set up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add some noise suppression. I'll do a quick moment of silence just so you can see how this sounds with no noise suppression in my room. And I do have a relatively well-treated room. I'm not running my heater, so it is relatively quiet. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn uh, noise suppression on. And this is the sound you'll get with the noise suppression on. A Little bit of a difference, might not be much, but there's a little bit of a difference. So we'll go ahead and move along to the three band EQ. And this is what it's going to sound like with the three band EQ. And I'll go ahead and show you I have my three band EQ set up. My highs are at 6.5, mids are at negative two, and my lows are at 3.1. Okay, that is the three band EQ. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. And this is my Marvel EQ. Um, I can show you, I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna, mm, no, it's not showing up. If you go on, um, if you search up like through Google, Voxingo Marvel GEQ, you'll find that and then you can install that. This is a VST plugin. Um, that's both of the, uh, the Marvel and I have another one called the Slick that I don't use that much. Those are both VST plugins and you can download those and have install them right into OBS. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. But what I've got my Voxingo Marvel set to is brighter and bassy so it's going to give it a little bit more of the low end and a little it's going to be a little brighter all right all right so now we'll go ahead and turn that off and we're back to just having the noise suppression and the limiter so now i'm going to turn on the three band and then i'm going to turn on the compressor and you're going to notice it gets quieter this is the three band noise suppression and the compressor and i'll show you what my compressor settings are ratio is 3.5 Threshold is negative 32. The attack is 20 milliseconds. Release is set to 150 milliseconds. And I've got the output gain just bumped up a little. I mean, I can bump it up more, show you what that does. Let's go up to like six, six point two. So now this is what the out, output gain is gonna do. As you compress, it's gonna make it lower and quieter. You throw in a little bit of gain, it'll lift it back up. Um, that's also something that you can take care of in post when you're editing. You can uh, you can add whatever, like I use Final Cut Pro. Um, typically, I'll do like voice isolation, and unless I'm doing a mic comparison, but like for my chron or my my raw, I changed the name. Um, I'll add I'll add like um, voice isolation equalization, and then sometimes I'll throw in loudness. But lately, I've been just doing it plain, not putting any of that on there. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn on both EQs. And this is what you're gonna get with noise suppression, my three band, my Marvel EQ, and the compressor. Um, it's it's a pretty nice sound. It, it, it's, it all depends on what you like, what, what sounds good to your ear, and what you think your viewers or your listeners uh, can, can handle. You don't want to get them that, um, that listening fatigue, whatever it's called. You don't, you don't want to have that happen. So if it's too, too bassy or too bright, too hot, you're going to get people not liking it. 
All right, but I'm going to go back just for palette cleanser, turn everything off, except that, well, yeah, we'll turn that off too. This is what it sounds like with nothing. All right, so we've gone over some of the filters or all of my filters with the SE4100. Now we'll move along to the uh, AM8, the Fine Fine AM8. All right, so now we're doing the Fine Fine AM8. I do have it on the desk, the little desk mount. So I don't have to take that one off the boom arm. Um, it's it's about I don't know seven or eight inches away, and this is what you're going to get. I do have it aimed right at my mouth, only because it's so far away. If if you were going to be closer, you'd kind of want it off to the side. And I know this sounds really good, but this is you'd want to place it a little off here so your plosives are blowing past the capsule. Because I don't have it like that, I've got it right straight in front of me. And this is what it's going to sound like. Um, there is nothing uh, on for filters except for the limiter. All right. This is what it sounds like with no noise suppression. And the Fine Fine AM8 is a excellent microphone. This thing sounds so good right out of the box. But we're going to go ahead and play with it anyway, just so you can see what you can do with your microphone. Now I've got noise suppression turned on. And as you can see, that drowns out a little bit of the room noise. All right, now we'll go ahead and throw on my three band EQ. And this is what it sounds like with the three band EQ and the noise suppression. Now we've got noise suppression and my Marvel EQ. You know, I did not show the slick EQ on the SE4100. I don't have this set up quite right. Since I'm not happy with it yet, but I'll go ahead and sh let you see what it sounds like. And this is the slick EQ. This one's, it's a little different. It's got like knobs. You, when you open this one up, it has little dials instead of faders. So I'm, I'm not quite used to it. I'm not sure how to use it. I got I to gotta practice with it a little more. Now I'll go ahead and do the three band and the Marvel. And this is what it's going to sound like with the three band EQ and the Marvel. Again, I'm at a pretty good distance away. If I was to be closer, you would sound a little more like this. This is how it would sound sitting uh, about where you want a dynamic microphone is about four inches, two to four inches away, kind of aimed at the corner of your mouth again. So your plosives are going past the capsule. All right. So there's those three. Now we can add some compression and this is what it's going to sound like with a little bit of compression. Um, this is what you can get with uh, your dynamic microphones. Um, we will do one more, which would be the fine, fine K688. So I'll go ahead and remove all this stuff and give you one more taste of how this sounds raw. And this is the Fine Fine AM8 right out of the box. Let's go on to the K688. And now we have got the K688 hooked up. This is what it sounds like straight out of the box. Uh, give you a little taste of how that sounds. Listen to the background, the like the room noise. All right, so now we'll go ahead and add some noise suppression and this is what it's going to sound like with a little bit of noise suppression. Uh, within OBS, I'm using the RN noise. You can um, pick between two. There's the speaks, and that one just kind of lets you have control over how much noise suppression you add to it. Like, this is not as much. This is more. Uh, I think the default is 30. I'll go ahead and hit default. When you first start using the speaks, it's at 30. Um, I don't use this. I don't need to worry about CPU usage. I have the M1 Max on my MacBook. So I'm going to go back to RN Noise. This is what it sounds like with noise suppression. Now let's go ahead and add some EQ. We'll add my three band. And this is what the Fine Fine K688 is going to sound like with the three band EQ. And this is the Fine Fine K688 with my Marvel EQ, noise suppression, and the limiter. And now this is what it's going to sound like with all three, the noise suppression, my three band EQ and the Marvel. Now I'll go ahead and throw on some compression. And this is what it's going to sound like with a little bit of compression. Again, here's my settings. If you want to take a screenshot of that, the output gain, you can adjust um, depending on how much you want it to output. I know I'm going up and down, driving everybody crazy. <clears throat> but this is what it's going to sound like. What did I have it at? I think I had it at six, somewhere around there. All right. And this is what you're going to get with the Fine Fine K688. And you can do this with any microphone. 
that you that's an XLR, something that you're going to be able to run through your audio interface and pull in from there into your OBS. All right, so let's go ahead and turn these back off. And once more, this is the raw sound of the K688 right out of the box. When you're using these filters, don't go overboard because you start to get that artificial over-processed sound and it's just not, it's not good. All right, so real quick, I did want to show you the Voxingo Marvel GEQ. This is what you get when you open up the interface. Um, it is a 16 band fader style EQ and it does have presets and that's usually what I go with. Um, I'm on brighter and bassy. This is what it sounds like in presence. And then you can switch over. This is side bass removal. That's what that's going to sound like. This is mids boost. This is what mids boost is going to sound like. This one is called lo-fi. This is what lo-fi is going to sound like. And this is ultra bass boost. I typically like to keep it on brighter and bassy and I don't really mess with it too much because it works for me. I like this sound. It's, it's, this one's pretty decent. All right. So this is what you can do inside of the Marvel GEQ once you open up the interface. And again, you wouldn't, you wouldn't need to keep this open all the time. You just kind of set it and forget it, put it where you want it and leave it at that. And, um, that's all I've got for that. And that's all I've got for the rest of this video. Uh, I hope this was helpful showing you what you can do with some EQing and processing through simple filters in OBS. And you can do this on any microphone. Again, if you got anything out of this, uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you plan on using this. Uh, let me know which sound you like the best. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed already, and this is the kind of stuff that you're interested in, I also do gear reviews on this channel. Uh, I would appreciate that as well. So that's all I have for tonight. I will see you in the next video.